Believe it or not, hurricane season is still in effect. And along with the natural worries of home and business damage, so comes the worry of farmers. You may recall hurricane season occurs from June 1st through November 30th and usually impacts the Atlantic Ocean, but not always. This year, 13 hurricanes have already hit the United States, where Hurricane Florence causing significant damage in both North and South Carolina and Hurricane Michael bashing Florida, resulting in 20 to $27 billion in damage. That damage includes property damage, including farmland. So how much impact do hurricanes have on agriculture? Here to answer that question and tell us what it means for our wallets are Delaware State University agriculture professor, Dr. Sathwai Alavarti and Dr. Polly Steen Hagen, a meteorology professor also here at DSU. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you. I'll start with you, Dr. Alavarti. How are farmers coping with the effects of hurricanes while still ensuring they meet the high demand of agriculture? Farmers deal with hurricanes on an annual basis, particularly farmers on the East Coast and the Gulf of Mexico. And on an annual basis, you can expect the damage going into billions of dollars. Farmers work with a lot of agencies, mm -hmm. federal agencies, FEMA, USDA, Farm Service Agency, a lot of agencies at the federal level provide assistance to farmers when it comes to hurricanes. My following question is, how are farmers making sure that crops and livestock are safe to eat after affected by a hurricane? First step is to separate the deceased and dead animals and safely dispose them of. Okay. And when it comes to plants and crops, so you basically are looking at damage assessment. So most of the times, farmer would not even worry about harvesting uh, crops mm -hmm. that are damaged by hurricane because the costs involved in harvesting and trying to market substandard product is more expensive. So Dr. Stinghagen, what is the best reliable weather source for farmers to use to help them understand the severity of an upcoming hurricane? Well, our National Weather Service has a hurricane center in Florida, which mm -hmm. is where they do all the predictions, National Hurricane Prediction mm -hmm. Center and they are the experts on hurricanes that work there, and they really are the main source for uh, information coming out. The big problem with hurricanes isn't so much the severity, but their unpredictability. Okay. Um, early on, it's very hard to tell where the heck the hurricane's gonna go. Mm -hmm. They go all over the place. So until maybe two days before the hurricane's going to hit, the uh, Weather Service really doesn't have a, a good, firm idea of exactly where it will hit. How do global warming affect hurricanes? It has a very big effect, um, and especially on this sort of situation. Uh, it's been shown that although we may not have more hurricanes, the hurricanes we have will be more severe because hurricanes are fed by the temperature of the ocean, and as the ocean gets hotter, it will do that. Another big problem is global warming is causing the ocean levels to rise. So when we have storm surge, for example, it will bring more salt water onto the land, and plants don't grow well in salt water. Okay. So that can be very damaging. Dr. Alabarti, how do you feel about this? So the main impact is on the severity and unpredictability of hurricane season. So changing climate has a lot of impact on several other factors, but it also impacts number of hurricanes and the severity of the hurricanes we get each year. My last question for you both is, how do you see scientists and professionals from both meteorology and agriculture owls working together to lessen the impact of hurricanes on farming? I'm not really sure you can lessen the impact of hurricanes on farming. It's going to happen when it happens. Mm -hmm. um, it depends on when the hurricane hits, when the crops are being harvested. Of course, for livestock, it's year round. Mm -hmm. but. Um, there really isn't anything we can do. From the agricultural point of view, there are a few things that the farmers and the policymakers can do yeah. mm -hmm. to lessen the impact. Yeah. Okay. So first one basically is uh, try to build better forecasting models and mm -hmm. communicate it better to the yeah. farmers. So always try to make sure that the farmer has access to risk management tools, starting with insurance, and also diversification of farm enterprise, so on and so forth. Well, thank you, Dr. Alavarti and Dr. Stinghagen for joining me today. For more information on how hurricanes are affecting agriculture, you can visit usda.gov and weather.gov.